it's going guys, it's Deathmog here. Today we're going to be talking about something rather interesting concerning Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's DMC mode, as well as Warzone. Now, this interesting theory comes from a Twitter user who goes by the name of HD on Twitter. Um, he actually mentions the following. That could only be me, but does that Building 21 mini-map look so similar to Verdansk? Even the crater and the remaining rows are the matching the exact same explosion spot back in the days. So, if you take a look at this mini at this mini map that was taken from the spawn area of Building Twenty One, you will notice that there is an outline of the actual building itself, which is what that white line around the edge represents. Um, and within that, you'll notice there's a big massive crater with what appears to be some sort of building at the very bottom of it. Now we believe at this present moment in time that this building 21, which is what the map is known as, um, could actually be a small area of Verdansk. How do we know this? Now if you cast your mind back all the way back to a previous live event in Warzone 1, some people may remember a what's what I'm searching for, a live event called the Destruction of Verdansk. And this is where, and this was the part where we actually managed to see a nuke rocket um, or a rocket launch up from outside the map and destroy Verdansk, uh, the more current version of Verdansk, uh, which led to a brand new map. Now I'm just going to skip forward on a previous video that I recently up, uh, that I uploaded in the past here on the channel. Now, towards the end of that live event there were an infestation of zombies that were taking over the map. Now, uh, as you guys can see, I'm playing as a zombie here, and we had to, I won't say eliminate, I'll say eliminate all of the humans. Um, and the this all started when a, I think it was a ship that uh, actually came into the Fortnite map, called, I think it was called Vodianoi, if memory serves, and there was, um, from and from that, there was an infestation of zombies. And this is what caused the Verdansk map to be destroyed. Now, as you guys can see, a DEFCON nuke was about to take place. Um, and we had to stop the humans before they managed to expel from the map. So that was the more or less the, what the objective was all about. Now, I'm just going to go quiet just so you guys can hear what's exactly going on here. Bye bye. Oh wow. Commander, I regret to inform you that Verdansk has fallen. Containment protocol has been initiated. Three, two, one. Yo. That's our side of the map. What? Oh, <laughs> oh but, if, but if you've noticed, they've been left some of the map. So as you guys saw, uh, that's what actually nuked the entire map, and we were, and at that point, we weren't able to play that map again. Now, apparently, um, there was actually a part two to this. Now, I'm just going to cast your minds back to a, another. Uh, or the second part of the live event. This was actually, a, I think it was maybe in the first ever two-part live event. Now, I'm just going to um, rewind this just a tad. Now, there was actually an objective on Rebirth Island, or Vosrosidenia Island, where we had to capture a certain um, piece of equipment that was actually in the uh, middle of the map itself. And this would happen to be a nuke device. Now, upon using this nuke device, uh, of course we had to retrieve it from the enemy and we had to use it to detonate the nuke, or to launch the nuke, I should say. Now, as you guys can see, um, another nuke was about to go off. And this is what completely uh, obliterated this island. Not, not on Rebirth Island, but this was on um, Verdansk. So let's take a look at this. You saved us all. Ooh. Got the win. Let's go. Oh. What's going on? What's going on? Destroy 
destroyers of Verdansk. You are the destroyer of Verdansk. Let's go. Now, as a result of this, this is what um, we actually got another cutscene, and this one took us back to uh, promote Black Ops Cold War. Wow, 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 wow. So this should be interesting to uh, take a look back at. Let's see. Guys, um, I just accidentally pressed something. Um, I'm just going to rewind this just a tad. Um, so if I just find that moment then. I'll just hold it there. Now, as you guys can see, this is the um, rocket that actually nuked part, um, a portion of Verdansk. You can see we've got the stadium in the background there. So I'm just going to let this finish off. Now, as you guys can see, we're actually heading back into the hospital in the 1984 version of Verdansk. And it's what promoted Black Ops Cold War, because that was set during the uh, Cold War itself. So that was rather interesting, and that took us back in in time, if you will, to the 1984 version of Verdansk. No. Targets are up. Get to work. Loot, kill, win. But that was a really interesting live event, guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts of that in the comments box down below. But the point of this video is, as you guys can see, this creator is the exact same creator that we actually saw during that Pacific live event. Now, um, you'll notice, if you look very carefully, there's two um, familiar pieces of road. You've got uh, this little road right here and this little road right here. Now, I want you to keep, uh, keep an eye on those two pieces of road. So I'm going to show you a different image here. And this image, as you guys can see, there's two pieces of road there and there. Just hold those, that image in your mind and do you recognize this area? Now, this area here is downtown from the 1984 version of Verdansk. And if you look carefully, this road here and this road here are in the exact, are in the exact same locations. So it Presume, uh, it is highly uh, noticeable that the creator was actually uh, a result of what happened with the nuke struck Verdansk. So when the nuke struck Verdansk, it hit, hit, the, hit this area of um, downtown, just outside the stadium, and that's what caused that um, look that area to cause that crater. And so, and technically speaking, Building 21 would be under downtown. So that's really interesting there, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of that in the comments box down below. On top of this, um, as you guys can see, you probably noticed during, during that trailer, um, this image taken from one of the uh, cutscenes happens to show the exact location of Building 21 and the creator at that location. So that's really interesting. Uh, Killer Stitch, who's actually replied to uh, this Medina HD, has actually had a really valid point. Now, if you look at the overlays of the uh, Building 21 map, you'll notice right here is a cave. But if you look at the original version of Verdansk, whether it's Verdansk 1984 or the more current version of Verdansk, there's no cave there at all. And if you think about it, there was no no caves anywhere to be found in, de, in the POI of downtown. So that's really interesting there, guys. So what are we guys thoughts of that? Let me know in the comments box down below. Now, the dance, I uh, believe, I'll get this the right way around here, guys. But um, this one here, this, I believe, was the salt mine. I'm going to double check this. So we've got um, this cave uh, one time was used during the... Uh, 
another live event. I think that's one that we had to um, destroy that uh, train that was going a little bit out of control, if you remember. And this one, I think, has always been blocked off, if I'm not mistaken. So, let me know what you guys thought of these in the comments box down below. So, it has high probability that Verdansk um, actually did contain the building in 21. Now, you will see some gameplay here from me soon on the channel for that specific map uh, when it does go live. I believe it's tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, at 5 a.m. UK time. Um, so, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Let me know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the notification bell to and applaud. Thumbs up if you want to see some Building 21 gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.